Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and unboxing of the Puvio 4 channel dash cam from Amazon. Now this is 360 degrees, so it has front, left, right, in the back. So it's perfect for rideshare drivers or for anybody that just wants to record the inside. Now, I did buy this unit with my own money. This is not a sponsored post. So let's get started. First off, there's the box, nothing special. First up, we have the dash cam itself. Now this thing's pretty cool. It has side facing cameras. Then it has one on the front. And then it has one on the back. So you can record pretty much every angle of the car. Now the back one, it should be in here somewhere. So you get your truck car charger. And this is, I believe you're probably gonna mount this to the window and then uh, this will mount to uh, this. So I'll show you how to install it. Trim tool so you can hide your cord. And then this is the rear view camera. So I thought it was wireless. I guess it's not, it's fine though. So this will mount to the back of your car. Then you have to run the wire up to the camera itself. Should be pretty easy. I'm probably not going to install this immediately. I don't really need it. I mainly just wanted the camera to record the inside for right when I do Uber. Then it has a dash mount if you wanted to mount it on the dash instead. Or if you wanted to mount this on the window. Which I think this is what I'm going to use to mount up here. So this is the film that you would place over the window and then you would stick the mount. So this is a film you would place over the window then you would place the mount to this, I believe. Then you also just have the instruction manuals. You get a two year warranty with it. So make sure you activate it. You have seven days after receiving the camera to activate it. So don't forget to do it. That'll come in handy. And it also comes with a memory card. So it goes in the side. It's just 128, so that should be plenty. Now this does do loop recording, so that means it'll probably last around four to five hours. And once it hits that mark and the memory card gets full, it'll start overriding the oldest images on the camera. So if you do need the video for any reason, make sure you pull it immediately because you don't want it to get overwritten. It also has a G sensor in it, so if it senses a collision, it'll automatically save the collision video onto the camera and it'll be locked in place so you can't overwrite. And it also has a button that you can press to save a video, so I think it'll save like the last two to three minutes. So if something happens and you don't want to forget, you can press the button to lock the video in and that way it won't be overwritten. It also has built-in Wi-Fi and GPS that you can connect to your phone. So that way you can pull the images in real time. Obviously you have to be within range of the camera, but you're able to pull the videos in real time without having to use a computer to transfer everything. Now I got it ran. I already had a power cable ran for it because I had a dash cam up here before and luckily it was the same power cable. But as you can tell, I just ran it up here in the trim down here and I actually got a power adapter that plugs into my OBD reader. And so that's what powers the camera. So it just comes on when the car's on and goes off when the car's off. Makes it easier and that way I don't take up a 12 volt port that I have on the car. Then starting off, you gotta download the app from the store. I'm assuming you can hear me, but if you can't, I'll just use the audio from the other camera. Oh yeah, so this is the video quality on it. Now this is what the app looks like. The video quality doesn't look that great through the app. I'm assuming it's better once you plug it up to your computer. I'll actually transfer it. It's probably just doing a low resolution display. Maybe not. Maybe this is how good it looks, but I hope not. And then as you can see in the app, you can switch to the different cameras. So I got both side cameras facing on me right now. So there's three cameras built onto the device, one forward one and then two side ones. So you can turn one of the side ones facing inwards to record the inside of your cabin. So this is the right one. It's the 
front one. This is the left one. So as you can see, I can move it. You can move it down. Now, kind of hard to see, but this is what it looks like. So not too much of an eyesore. It takes up more space of the windshield than I'd like, but not too bad. It could be worse. Camera system also has built-in Wi-Fi and GPS. So that way you can see where you're at when a sudden incident took place. You can look back on the video and know the exact location. And I believe it uses Google Maps to show you the route you took and where a crash was detected at or anything that you might save into the camera roll. Now it also has a time lapse function. And I'm just going to read it from here. It goes like this. The dashboard camera's time lapse function records video at one frame per second and compresses a 60 minute video into one minute in parking mode to save memory card space and enable faster playback. Uh, you have to have an external kit for this. It's called the ACC hardware kit and it's required for the parking mode. And this basically tells the camera they'll start recording in time lapse mode when your vehicle is in park. The camera also has a 1.8 aperture and four infrared lights. So this will make it great for nighttime recording. Everything will be illuminated. The right aperture will allow more light to come into the lens. So it's better in low light scenario so driving at night won't be an issue you always be able to have a clear video now the downside is the unit does not have a battery so you will have to plug it up to some kind of ACC power in your car so this way it only comes on when the car's on and it goes off when the car's off and this way it won't drain your battery though I think the package comes with is the Pruvio D90 4CH dash cam the rear camera with a 20 foot cord a mini USB power cord with a 12 volt cord and it's a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. A 128 micro SD card, the suction cup mount, then it had 3M mounts to put your cable if you were to run the power cable. The user manual, the car wiring tool and that's just to push the cable under the trim and the windshield sticker applicator that you put over the windshield and then put the mount on top of it to kind of keep your window clean. The all four cameras are 1080p. It has eight infrared lights, a built-in GPS logger. So more into the GPS logger. And what this does, it ensures the vehicle's path can be visually tracked while the coordinates ensure the exact location of any incident is recorded. So this is critical for any roadside assistance and insurance claims. A built-in G sensor. So the G sensor will detect when the gravity in the car changes. So if it's a hard crash, it'll automatically save that recording. And it has built-in Wi-Fi, a built-in supercapacitor with WDR technology. So the WDR technology stands for Ride Dynamic Range. And depending on the lighting, the image may look overexposed or underexposed. But with the Pruvio, this has helped solve that problem with the WDR function. So the dashboard camera combines two images into one. Who do I think this is for? I think this camera is perfect for any rideshare drivers. You know, there's been times I've had passengers in my car that were doing, getting kind of rowdy or just doing questionable things. And this way, if anything does happen, you have evidence. So any rideshare driver should have a dash cam. Some passengers might not be too happy with it, but you know, it's your car at the end of the day, your safety, so you gotta take care of yourself. So like I said, it's perfect for any Uber or Lyft or any rideshare drivers in general. And for really anybody else that just wants to have that sense of security with a dash cam. You know, there's always something that happens on the road that you wish you could show somebody. If something bad happens, you have proof that it wasn't your fault. Uh, you know, just evidence for anything to help you up in case of an emergency. Unit also comes with a two year warranty. The card's in the box when you get it. And you have seven days from the purchase to activate it. So don't forget to do it. So that way the camera's covered if anything happens to it. And uh, that way you, you get a free replacement instead of having to spend $200 on a new one. All right, so that's the review of the Pruvio 360 degree four camera system for your car. Like I said, this is perfect for any rideshare drivers, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, or anybody that just wants that extra sense of security. And I think this is a great camera for the price. You know, there's some pretty expensive ones out there. This one was right under 200 and had a $50 off coupon. And you get four cameras with it. So that's nice. You get your regular dash cam, plus you get to record the inside of your cabin. And then you can also record the driver's side door or the passenger side door. 
I did the driver's side door since that's where I'm at. And it also comes with the rear camera. So four cameras for the price of one, you can't beat it. Most of the dash cams are just around $200 just for the dash cam itself. And the quality is pretty good. You know, it's not the best, but it's not, I've seen much worse. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.